So today I'm going to a pumpkin patch with my family, my two daughters and my husband, JL. There's gonna be swings and, and slides and all kinds of craziness uh, that I'm more just nervous about because my kids are crazy. My assumption is that they're going to hurt themselves at some point or run around and I'm gonna lose them. That's usually the typical. And we're just gonna try to enjoy the fall weather and then hurry to the dance studio where I have a rehearsal with Company 360's Youth Company, uh, which is really fun and, and a lot of pressure as well because we have to finish an entire dance in about an hour. <laughs> For today, I'm hoping that I can really just enjoy my girls and enjoy time with my husband and not let this lung infection and health stuff get in the way of an otherwise very busy physical day. Llama. I know how to spell llama. One M, by the way. O L A. I don't know. I'm not actually sure that alpacas really care. My husband, JL, uh, has probably been a little bit stressed. I have a fresh lung infection at the moment, and I'm on antibiotics, and I'm honestly feeling pretty terrible. A simple day like today, going to a pumpkin patch and doing my job as artistic director of Company 360 is probably going to be a lot harder than it otherwise should and it's going to take a lot more of me faking it until I make it and he's the only person on earth who probably can see right through that and he can see when I'm feeling awful but he also knows I tend to feel worse if I stop and let it get the best of me. Where are we going? Do you want to get a hot something? Hot apple chocolate? <laughs> like a mix of half skull? Would be like cool. Are you crazy? Oh, like a mad treat something? No, it's hard. You just happen to be here. You're welcome. Thank you. It has marshmallow. They got to ride a mountain slide that was really just a hill with a tarp on it, but I mean, the kids thought it was a mountain. Follow you one more time. <laughs> yeah. Using ASL is uh, really cool. Like today when we were at the farm looking for pumpkins, just this moment where I can look across a field and I can have her opinion on something that we're doing in that moment. Uh, it's like this like, cool silver lining. That was like the most me thing she's ever done. She just perfectly signed help, but she signed by she doesn't want to ask for help because she's got this. <laughs> so I'm super stressed because all the kids are going to be here and we have to finish the dance today. Um, so I think, do you mind sitting in the car with me and we'll blast it and then I'm going to go over the counts and you can help me count it out a little bit. Days that are more on the physical side, like today with my girls who are full of energy, or later today when I'm teaching a room of like 30 lovely, amazing children a dance, it can be really hard to regulate breathing when I have a fresh lung infection because I just feel really short of breath. Both of those activities require a lot of talking, but hopefully I can do the best I can and then go home and maybe sleep. Okay, let's start from the this. One. Two, hold, three, four. In sign language, you're showing a person. The dance that I am setting on our youth company actually fuses some ASL into the movement. And I've done this once before with a project in New York, but I try to not do it too often. Um, I don't want to be redundant, but it is my language and I love it. And I felt like it was such a cool opportunity to share it with the youth of today specifically and these kids just soak up everything and they're so empathetic so teaching them this language is a beautiful opportunity for everybody six seven eight and good good Catherine I can't wait for our adults to see this and be like I 
got to step it up. Because <laughs> it's fantastic, fantastic emotion, intensity, beautiful. OK, let's keep going. <laughs> Big. Get tall, slowly, slowly. Arm to beautiful. Listen to how close it is. In rehearsal today for our youth company, we finished our dance, which we've had a really short amount of time to set and create for our fall performance dance. So I was really relieved that we finished everything. The show is less than a month away. It's about three weeks away, which honestly stresses me out a lot. I need for my lungs to behave and for us to figure out health stuff, but Either way, I know we'll be able to rally through. And working with the kids today and seeing how much emotion they give, they always give me 110% of themselves. There's no way that I can't give 110% of myself in return. Today was definitely difficult because my health is not always behaving and sometimes I have to work twice as hard to make sure I am hearing and noticing what is going on around me. But despite the hardships and despite how yucky I feel, for me it's always worth it to get any amount of time with my family and any amount of time with these beautiful dancers who give so much to me. So I just try my hardest to give what I can back to them.